What's up guys, in this video I'll be doing a Q&A as demanded by my adoring public on Twitter, specifically Mystery Steamboat who suggested the idea, so thanks dude, gonna do it now, and without further ado, here we go. I always forget so please, like, subscribe, hit the notification icon so that you're notified occasionally when I upload a new video. Thanks. Stay tuned until the end of the video so that you can find out the answer to my question of friends from my last video, which was why did Chandler commit to moving to Tulsa? You'll find out. All right, so beginning this Q&A, uh, I've got quite a few questions and from the guys that have asked like more than three questions, I'm gonna dedicate one whole video to them, okay? So for all the other people that ask maybe one or two questions, they'll be put together in one separate video because okay, this, there's too many questions to get through and I'm gonna try and break this up a little bit. The first couple of questions comes from Mystery Steamboat, our own Disney fanatic. Whew, no idea. Very jealous of him actually. As Mystery Steamboat does as well, I'll be leaving links to the channels of the people that have asked me these questions. So please be sure to check them out. It'll be in the description below. Share some love, like their videos, subscribe, start a conversation, get to know them, because they're all fantastic people. All right, here we go. Question one, the best thing about South Africa, you are there, right? LOL. The best thing about South Africa. The landscape. The country's pretty beautiful in some parts. I know what you would call a decent South African. Um, I don't really enjoy being in South Africa. I find that we are very limited in what we have. Um, so the only good thing I can say about South Africa is that some of the landscapes are absolutely beautiful. Uh, when I go out of town or whatever and I'm driving to Stuttgart on a Friday, um, you reach this section of forestry which is absolutely beautiful. You can see the mountains in the distance. If it's a stormy day, there is mist that covers it and it's, it's, it's absolutely stunning. That is the only th positive thing I can possibly say about living in, living in South Africa. Um, so at least there's one thing. Um, but yeah, not, I don't really like this country, to be honest. I built you a working DeLorean because I'm good like that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Uh, where would you hop to? That's a tough one. That's a really, really tough one. You didn't specify if I only had one case of plutonium to get there or two cases to get there and get back. So I'm going to go with two answers here. I don't know if that's allowed, but I'm going to because you didn't specify. So in your face. All right. So if I had a choice like for personal preference, um, I've always wanted to go back and visit or be part of the 50s. You know, when rock and roll was like coming out and, you know, rock music was evil. I think there'd be such an awesome time to live. It just seemed... Not, I wouldn't say chilled, but I mean, I don't know, much better, I guess. I don't know why I think that. Every time I watch a movie which has the 50s theme in it, um, it just seems to be such an awesome era to live in. I mean, you had, I listen to a lot of 50s and uh, 60s music. So <clears throat> I think being alive at the time when, when that music was coming out would definitely sell me. And I think that would be a fantastic place to, to go and visit and hang out or something. Now, uh, because you didn't specify if I only had uh, two sets of plutonium or if I had a Mr. Fusion thingy and I had enough crap to get there and back, two-parter. I would do exactly what Marty McFly did when he went to the future uh, 2018. I would get myself a sports almanac and come back to the present and make a whole bunch of money because I don't enjoy working nine to five. I hate it, can't stand it. So that's the first thing I would do is uh, be dishonest, go to the future, get an almanac, bet on sports things, and make a lot of money. I wouldn't end up like Biff, I would keep myself comfortable and happy, look after my family, uh, keep doing YouTube. Uh, that's what I would actually pretty much do. Um, because I think that like the current way that we're living in society now, some is bad, some is good. I mean, from a, techn from a technological aspect, it is pretty awesome. The fact that we can record this kind of stuff and upload it to YouTube and meet fantastic people through social networking. And I think it has a real good positive. So I would definitely want to come back to this. Uh, so yeah, but that's what I would do. I'd make a lot of money and then carry on with my YouTube channel and be completely independent and work my own hours. So yeah. Question three, favorite game, bear in mind I'm old. <laughs> Dude, you're only as old as you feel, all right? And you still seem like a flipping 20 year old. You're such a dork and a geek, so chill, you're not old. Favorite game, yo. Favorite game, that's also a tough one. It's hard to choose one favorite game, you know? Hmm. 
favorite game? I have tons of favorite games. I don't, I don't think I have a, I don't have a set favorite. I know I prefer uh, story-driven narrative games and anything with a character that I can really connect with is the kind of game that I enjoy playing. Third-person action adventures, platforming, but I don't have a favorite game. I have other moments in games which have been favorite moments in games, but um, somebody else asked a question like that from the Q&A, uh, which I'll get to in a separate video. So for now, I have no favorite game, but I have a variety of games that are my favorite, if that makes sense. You can only have one CD slash album, which CD? That's also tough, man. Why would I, why would I only have one? Okay, all right. Only one CD album, right? All right, you again, you didn't specify if it had to be an album or if I could create this. So, what I would do, I would take all my songs that I like, throw them onto a CD, and that is my one compilation album. Boom. Obviously, I'll have to have a car battery or something just to keep powering up my iPod MP3 charge or whatever. Probably the MP3 player. But um, I think I'm going to like skew your question a bit because there's no way I can choose one CD. That's impossible. There, there is so much good music out there ranging from 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. 90s was a bad time for music, in my opinion, with all the doof doof music because I can't stand club music. You know, I, I can't choose between Linkin Park and Nickelback or Metallica and Megadeth. There's just no way. And you can't, I mean, I love Eminem. I would listen to a whole bunch of Eminem. Um, but even Eminem gets a bit tiresome after a while, you know, so you have to you have to switch it up. So I'm gonna add a loophole to your thing. It'll be a custom compilation that I create with all my favorite artists on there. And because we live in this day and age, it'll be a whole bunch of MP3s which gives me a shit ton of listening time. <laughs> uh, question five. Best book you've ever read? That's also hard. I don't think I've ever read anything that's been that fantastic, to be honest with you. I mean, I really enjoyed the Harry Potter books, and um, I loved a couple of the Dan Brown books. I love a few Stephen King books. Um, I can tell you the first real book that I enjoyed reading, it was like probably the first <clears throat> actual book that I remember reading, was called The Cellar, and it was by an author named Richard Lehman. And this was a generic horror, horror, um, horror thriller book, something to do with the werewolf, I think. But I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think I enjoyed it because the author wasn't afraid to mention penis or vagina or stuff like that. It had everything. It had everything in there. It had, uh, it had gore. It had blood. It had. It was. It was suspenseful. It had sex. It had nudity. And I like having all those different concepts thrown into one book, and I, I kind of enjoy it. It was a generic, generic as hell story. But um, at the time, it was pretty good. I think it was maybe 13 when I read it. And for the life of me, I cannot find that book anywhere. Can, I've been looking for years to reread to re -read that book to see if it was good as I remember it. Nah, no go. It's not gonna happen, I can't find it. Um, so I guess for this one, I'm gonna have to say, it's gonna have to be Richard Lehman's The Cellar. Um, I know there are plenty other fantastic books out there that I haven't read. I don't do a lot of reading, I do some reading but it's reading, reading that is kind of in my niche, kind of, you know? So, yeah. And next question, I don't like this next one. Favorite family memory. Favorite family memory. That's also tough, man. I, I actually can't think of, well, okay, actually, I, I can't think of one. It was probably the best out of all of them. It's like the one time our family seemed to be very together because we're always broken up, we're always fighting amongst ourselves and shit always seemed to happen. But there was, I suppose there is one um, where we spent New Year's together at my mom and dad's place. And there was no in-house fighting. We all had a couple of drinks. We all had a good party. We all danced. It was, we didn't go to a club. We just stayed at home. We had a, a braai, which is a barbecue. You know, um, we call a barbecue a braai. In South Africa and yeah it was just a good time we partied I think we had a power cut as well and we listened to music off the laptop and we danced around we had shots we had strawpedos we had a lot of strawpedos <laughs> we got um, heavily pissed but it was a it was a lack of chilled evening so I think that would probably be the best memory because my two sisters who don't get along my mom can be a little overbearing my dad is awesome I love my dad but it was you know there's always been friction between certain parts of the family unit 
and that was the one evening where there seemed to be absolutely zero friction and we all just had a really good time uh, so I would have to say that I lie okay I'm gonna mention two but this doesn't include my whole family about two years ago um, okay I'm a very okay this is gonna get like kind of personal and if you okay my girlfriend and I we absolutely love sexy stuff okay we can be open with each other we can be open with other people my girlfriend's bisexual I'm bi curious so the one thing I wanted to do for my 30th birthday so that was two years ago uh, we went to Joburg which is like 800 kilometers away to go to go to a strip club because there are no strip clubs in the small shitty town where I am and it was a it was a family unit it was it was my sister who um, who I guess is bisexual now but that's a story for another time uh, with her wife at the time and myself my girlfriend Michaela and my dad and we went to ah, crap what was it called one second babe honey what was the name of the strip club we went to teasers thanks uh, we ended up going to teasers which is one of the most um, prestigious strip clubs in Joburg I guess and we had a blast you know pretty naked ladies dancing around we got into the via oh, that was a cat that jumped over we we went yeah so we went to teasers lots of hot girls dancing around my girlfriend and i absolutely loved it their food was fantastic as well we had like this uh, buffet of ribs and chicken and stuff and my mom wasn't there because she was full of shit that day but that that was a good time we stayed there until i think 11 or 12 and we just had a blast. I mean, what kind of family, family goes together to a strip club? <laughs> Myself, my girlfriend, my sister, her wife, and my dad. I mean, come on. That's, I mean, that is such a fantastic mesh of um, non-judgment, just being able to be yourself. And, and it was really, really good fun. Uh, so I, I think that would actually top, that actually tops the New Year's one. So I'll just keep that one in there. That is it for the Q&A, you guys. That's all this. That's it for the first part of the Q&A. I will get to the others as soon as I can. Spread them out a little bit going during the week. I'll be doing the guys that asked the most questions uh, first, not in any particular order or anything. And anybody that's answered a question that somebody else has already asked is, you know, I'll just refer them back to the other video. Before I go, the answer to my friend's trivia question from last time, or from the second last video, was because he fell asleep in a meeting. That's why he committed to going to the door's kind of open. That's why he committed to moving to Tulsa because he fell asleep in a meeting. He woke up and he was just like, yes. <laughs> so that's why. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And until next time, be good to yourselves and be good to each other.